Hi everyone, this is Carla. Thanks for coming by my channel today. Uh, what we're going to do today is make this little journal purse. In my part one and part two of my purse journal, I had shown you how to make this little journal and then I told you I would show you how to make this little purse that I put this little journal in when I sell it at my craft fair. And it just fits right in there. It's just the perfect size. Turns out so cute. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make this little purse. So what you're gonna need is your scoreboard and you're gonna need a 12 by 12 piece of paper and of course your scoring tool. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to score, okay, you have to decide if you want your pattern to go this way or this way. So let me think here a second. If I turn it this way, or do I want it this way? I think I want it this way. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like it is because having it this way, this means I'm gonna be scoring my half inch over here. Wherever you put your half inch, that's gonna be the top of your purse. So first of all, with our 12 by 12 sheet of paper, we wanna score all the way down at a half inch. And then we wanna score at five inches, seven inches, and finally at 11 and a half inches. And that should leave you a half inch on this other end. Now you want to turn it just like so, and on this side, get it lined up there good where it's snug up against your edges there. And on this side, you want to score it at two and a half, and at nine and a half. Make sure get that up there, and there, right there at nine and a half. I think I went through that paper. I don't like it when I do that, because then I'm gonna take um, some washi tape and put over that. As you can see, that kind of went down a little farther than I really wanted it to. I'm afraid that will split. So I'll just add a little washi tape on the inside of that. Let's get this out of the way. We'll do with this. And the first thing we want to do is, well, since I have this going on, I am going to put some washi tape right in there. And you know what? That's going to fold in, and you will not see that at all. So it really doesn't matter what kind I put in there. But I'm going to take this I've got right here, this little uh, light piece of floral. And I am going to take that... I'm just going to put that right down here, so if that should split, it's not going to make a hole right there. So, where's my little scraper? Put it right over here. Yeah, well, we'll just tear that. That's okay. Right like that. Okay, so now, the first thing you want to do is... You're gonna take where you scored this inch. You're just gonna fold that up. It's gonna look white right there. And take the other one, just fold it up just like so. And then I'm not gonna take my bone folder and really crease that too much because I don't want that paper to crack on me. So I'm just gonna leave it kind of just like so. Then I'm going to take this score line here that was this two and a half score. I'm going to fold it in like so. And just give that a finger press. I'm going to take the other side and I'm going to fold it in as well. And I see right here is another place where it looks like the paper cracked on me. So I'm going to do that again with my washi tape. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to run it down this edge. Some paper you just 
have to watch for that. It just kind of wants to do that. And some, you know, you don't have any problem at all, but that should take care of that. I want that on there really well. And then I'm gonna fold that right on that score line. Give that a finger press. And now I have something that looks like this. Now, next thing I wanna do is on this uh, score line, you can see there in the center, we wanna fold that up and over. And then we wanna fold this one up and over. Now, what we wanna do is we're going to fold this like so. We're going to take this end and where this fold is, if you can see this right here, this little score line, you're going to take that and you want to bring that down to this line right here. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. And you want to line that up just as straight as you can, I'll try to turn that where you can see it, where this is right here on that line, because this will be your corner. Then I'm gonna take my finger and just come in here and show you around here. It's gonna look like this. And you're just going to press this out. You've got that lined up and just press this out. Okay, you're going to do the same thing over here. You want to take, got this now that looks like this. You're going to take it and this score line here. I'm going to take it here and you want to fold it even to this line fold down there. So I'm going to get that where I can crease it. I'm going to bring that around right to the edge here if you can see that right there on that edge pull that down and hold that i'm going to come in here again with my finger pull that over that's going to make that real nice and crisp and sharp edge i'm going to pull that down now so now you've got something that looks like this on your end. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Fold this up where this score line is. You wanna take that and come in here and kind of get that corner established and just fold it to this creased fold here to make it as straight as you can. Coming up like so. Kinda of hard to get in here and then after you get that straight, you wanna come in with your finger and give that a press. And where I got that started there, I can pull this back up and I can see where that's straight. And I am going to press that down with my finger. Now, if you wanted to for this, you could take your bone folder inside because that isn't going to uh, matter that much. So I'm gonna take my bone folder and kind of come in here, and crease those inside folds. Let's come over here and do this one. Take this edge where that is scored, pull it down to the side, just like so. Hold that on there. my finger get that press started see if I've got that just like I want it then I'm gonna take my bone folder and go back in and give that a press just like that okay so now we've got those uh, now what we're gonna do now we're gonna take this and we're gonna lay it on the other side just like this we've got it all folded the way we need it to be Next, you're going to need a hole punch. I'm going to use this little hole punch that I got from Amazon. I think it's an, an eighth of a hole punch or something like that. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I am going to go about, oh, about three-fourths of an inch down this little 
I'm going to turn it this way. I like to see where I'm pinching for sure. I'm going to take it about, well, almost an inch in. And I'm going to take it in there. And I'm going to give it a punch. I'm going to come over here. want to do it about the same. Come in about an inch. And give that a punch. Turn this around. Do the same thing here. And the same thing over here. Now what you'll need are four little brads. And I have these brads. I've had these in my stash. So I'm going to use this kind of a um, kind of a salmon pink color. These little flowers. I'm going to use two at a time first. And then you're going to need two 10-inch pieces of ribbon for your handles. And I'm using the same ribbon that I used to... Um, kind of uh, tie my journal together. I'll show you the journal I made to go with this after we're finished. So this is something that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to use that for my handles. So what I want to do first, I'm going to take my pokey tool and I'm going to come down about a fourth of an inch and I am going to poke a hole right in that ribbon And I'm going to wiggle that around. I want that large enough to get my brad through. So I'm going to come on the other end, do the same thing. Poke that in. Move that around a little bit. And I also am going to go ahead and cinch those ends so I don't have to worry about fraying when it's on my uh, little journal purse. These will be on the inside, but still a good idea to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other handle. Both ends. Get that a poke. Right here, about a fourth of an inch down. Give that a poke. And I'm going to singe those ends so we don't fray. Oh, drop my ribbon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Luckily, when I dropped it that time, I didn't wake up my cat, so she didn't try to go after it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and singe this end. Okay, now I'm going to take my brads. Now, you have to watch very carefully when you're doing this. I'm going to be placing my brad and so my handle, I'm going to have the back side of my ribbon so it will be front wise when I uh, pull it up. So what you're going to do is pull this up, I'm going to take my brad, I want the decorative part to be on this, um, oops that one's coming apart there decorative part to be on this back side of the ribbon. Okay, so that's going to be on the back side of my ribbon. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to take where it's on the back side of my ribbon, I'm going to poke it through the back side of my purse. Okay, and then when I bend this over, I want my brad to be turned, turn that a little bit, I want it to be turned so when I flatten it out, okay, I didn't do that one right, sorry, let's go this way, all right, we want to do it this way. <laughs> Have your purse face up. We want to come this way through there. And there we go. Now that's right. I want to make sure I turn this and I get this brad going like so. OK. 
Okay, that doesn't look right to me. But it is. Okay. Double check there. Then let's go ahead and we're going to do the other one. Again, we're going to put the brad through the back side. Like so. And we want this to come around. Kind of easier to do it like this. And then you'll have it going the right way. So it's not going to be twisted. You have to bend that a little and just poke that through there like so. And kind of pull this up. And again, you've got your um, brads coming through to the back side. You want that twisted. It's kind of a tight little thing to do there. You want that twisted so you can open that brad. And while we've got these open, let's show you. So when you put these together, when we put it together, it's going to be like this. And your handle will be like this. Okay? And your brads will show on the inside, not the outside. It's kind of neat the way that works. So we're going to open this now, and while I've got that one done, I'm going to go ahead and use a half inch score tape. And I want to just bend this up. I want to make sure I secure this brad with this score tape. And I'm going to come right where this fold is. You can see that right there where that fold is. I'm going to go right up to this edge and right over that brad so I can secure that down. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Uh, have to turn that a little bit. Get this bent kind of tight. There we go. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull this right at the top again. Pull that right up to that fold right across that brad. And then we're going to just remove that score tape. Okay, now before we take that off and adhere that, let's go ahead and do the other side. So again, what we're going to do is you're going to lay your um, purse like this. And you've got your holes already poked and you've already sinned your ends. We're just going to take our our brad put through this end and I'm going to try to get that turn before I poke it in there this time. I'm just going to poke it right through here and as you can see my ribbon is backwards than what we'll be showing. And we're going to flip this over and I'm going to go ahead and separate that. I'm going to go ahead and put my tape on there so I don't have to worry about that coming out. Let's come to this fold. Go right up here at the top. Right over to the end. And a little cutter here. Take that off. I like that on there really good. And then we'll do the other one. Same way. We'll just flip this back over. And we're going to put, I have to fold this probably to get that to work. Put this in, this other end right here. We've already made our hole and we've already singed it. So let's make sure this is coming this way so it won't be twisted. And poke it through there again. That little hole we punched. Whoops, did I fold my... There, get that straight. There we go. And I'm going to pull this up, like so. Flip it back over. And get 
that straight. Kind of fold out our little brad. Let's get that taped on. So we're going to come here to the fold, cross that little brad, and mash that down really well to secure that little brad. And we're going to take that off. Okay, now let's see what we've got. So now we've got our handles will be coming up like so. And our purse will be coming together to get this kind of turned like so. This to come together. The only thing you really have to remember when you're trying to get this to come together is that these flaps go flat. And once you know that, this is all going to go into place. Now, before I secure those on, though, I want to add tape to, I want to secure these on better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece of tape across this top and down this side. So I'm going to use my fourth inch tape for that. And let's see, here we go. So again, where if you can see here where this folds to make this little um, little side here where that folds to make that side. This will be coming in and I want this to be adhered to that. So I'm going to put a piece of tape down the side of this square where that score line is right here in that corner. I'm going to take that right up the side and then across the top to that little triangle corner there. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here. And come in right down here where that score line is, right in that corner. That tape all the way up that side and then across the top of that little triangle piece. Let's do the same thing on this side. We'll come over here. And again, here is our little score line right there along the side of that edge of the side part. Take that off. Then we're going to go across the top. this score line there. Kind of hard to see these score lines. And then with all the designs and diagonals on there, but it's right there. I can see my corner. Put that in right up here. And then across the top here. Right there is where that stops. Right there. Okay. Now we're ready to take the backing off our tape and get this to come together. Let's fold it up. And the first thing I'm going to do is take the backing off. So let's get this going. This needs to be coming this way. And I'm going to do these little side flaps first the top where the handle is. I'm going to remove that backing right here. Make sure that's on there good. And I'm going to remove this backing on this side. I'm going to just simply take this, line it up there, and Press that. This one, we're going to do the same. Line it up at the top. Give it a press. And now we're going to do the same thing on this end. Remove the backing. And 
and we're going to go ahead and press that one since it's wanting to go that way. Let's go ahead and line that up and give that a press. And on this one, do the same thing. Move that backing. Line this up and give that a press. Now, all we have left to do is to adhere these little flaps together to form our sides. Now, I have seen this done where people want to leave that open, but for my purposes of adding a journal to that, I would rather uh, go ahead and close these up. So that's why I am adding the tape to this. This way and we'll get this one and this one. Now all we're gonna do is like we folded it before, you just want to make sure you can try to get that right down snug against where that edge is on that line when you pull that back. And the way we folded it and taped it it really goes there nicely. Then you come here again, just gonna line that up with that, give it a press. Now we're gonna remove the tape on this side. Get in here with this one. And in here with this one. right here on the edge the best you can. And there you've got your nice little corners. And one more. Let's go in here and get this one. And then this one. Here we're going to come and get that edge together just like that. And there you've got your little purse. Isn't that cute? Now all we have left to do is to decorate. And I've already gotten some of the things cut out that I think I'm going to decorate with. Just have to find them. <laughs> okay, this is going to be um, one of the flaps. Now, if you can see here, if this bothers you that this comes up a little bit inside, you can always take glue, lift that, and put some glue under there. But for now, I think it's going to be fine for me. I am feeling just a little bit of that uh, sticky tape there. So I'm going to take a little talcum, my uh, fix-all for those sticky edges. And I'm just going to rub a little bit on there so I don't have to worry about that picking up anything. All right, now, got that taken care of. That was bothering me a little bit. So, let's take this uh, paper, kind of coordinated with this, and I'm going to put this up in here, I believe. Now, before I do that, I wasn't sure if I wanted to add a little trim. Um... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Let me grab something here. Excuse me just a second. I am so sorry to be in the way like this. Here's what I was kind of up against. I'm sorry. I know that was not a good shot. This is kind of a coral. And this is a pink pink. So I think I might use this little, um, more of this little minty green, turquoise aqua green, and go up under this little flap here. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead and get this piece on. I cut this out with one of my scallop stitch dies. I'm gonna go ahead and just Use my ATG gun to get this adhesive on here. And I think we're going to take this and I'm going to try to center that and place it up under there. 
the best I can. I like that. I like that. Okay. Now, let's see if I want to use this. Let's take this pen out. Let's see. Do I want to put it up here? I think that's cute. Okay, to do that, I'm using my half inch. Um, before I do that, though, I want to put a little bit of glue under this because I do want this to stick down. I don't want that sticking up. All right, we can do that. And I'm going to add my half inch score tape across the top. Like so. And I'm going to snip that with my scissors. Okay, let's give that a little snip. And then I'm going to remove that backing. And I'm going to take this trim, and I'm going to trim that off because it is fraying just a little bit. Um, okay. Take that, kind of trim that off. And I usually try to add some glue to the end of that or maybe a little piece of that adhesive tape. There we go. And if I get that stuck on there real good, I won't have to worry about that. But I'm also going to add a little bit of glue on top of this. It just helps it reinforce. I'm going to take that little tip I think and turn down a little. There we go. And I'm going to pull this kind of across the top here. There. That looks cute. I like that. I'm going to trim this in, pull it back a little, so maybe I can kind of, let's see, tuck it a little bit, maybe put a little glue under there, kind of keep that from fraying. I don't know if I could use a lighter on that. I'd be afraid I might catch on fire. Okay, so I think that looks good. All right. Now, the other things that I've prepared to put on here was um, I had some of these stickers that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I had some of these stickers also. So I used those with my punch. And I think we're going to use, I made two sets, one for the front, one for the back. So I think I'm going to lay this like so. Let's see how we might want to put these on here. I cut two scallops, kind of put foam tape in between to puff those up a little. And this says, you go, girl. And then I just used two of the stickers. And I'm going to put one at one corner and one at the other corner. And they can even overlap. It's kind of the way I had it planned. So I'm just going to... Let's see, we'll put this one down first. And we'll put it just like so. Get that straight on there. Then we'll take this one. And kind of slide it in here to come down to this corner and this one do the same thing but at the top cute 
cute. And then I have these little um, gold hearts I thought I would add on there. Let's take these out. I thought I might add one up here in this corner. Just like up here, like so. down a little bit more and I'm gonna add another one I think down in this corner yeah. now I'm trying to decide do I like that or would I rather have it I think I'd rather have it straight because they're not really even on the corners. So I think I'd rather have it straight. I like it like that. Okay, so I've got those and we're gonna do the same thing pretty much on the back side. Let's get some glue under here. Get that down. Again, we're gonna take some a little bit much glue there. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of my half inch score tape and let's put that across the top. Push this down. That can stick, be sticking on there. And take this and just take that across the top. Give that a snip. Oops, stuck on me. Let's step right here. And press that on. Remove the backing. And take our trim. Before we add our trim, we want to add a little bit of glue just to reinforce it. And I want to take this and make sure, kind of fold that in just a little bit so that will not fray. I can get that folded down a little. Yeah, let's we'll see how it goes. Maybe, not bad. Well, you know I'm gonna cut that one. I think that one needs to be cut. Let's try it like this. Let's just lay that right in that glue and on that tape, and I think that should hold it. Now we want to try to get this going across the top fairly even. There we go. All the way to the end. And there's pretty good amount of glue on that so I think I'm going to just try to come up through there and clip that off there now we're going to do the same thing with this color I made these out of this color so we're going to add one of these in the center I hope this isn't getting too long we're almost finished and we're going to add that one to the center I will survive. I just think these cheetahs are so cute. And when I get this uh, finished, I can't wait to show you the little journal that's going to go inside of it. I've already made that. And let's put this one kind of over. And, oh, you know what I forgot to put on? Yes, you do. This, we gotta put this on. Trying to speed along here. Let's put this here. And here, and 
around here. I know one thing that's kind of an issue. We'll see how it works. I don't know if I can get that up. Probably not. So what I'm going to do is cut this little edge off up here because I usually slide that under so I wouldn't have this scallop showing. But I got in a little bit of a hurry there. So I'm just going to cut this. And that will give it that straight edge. I'm going to add a little bit more adhesive to that. There we go. One in the center. And this will fit right up under here. Just bend this up a little bit. I just want it even on the sides, best we can do. That looks pretty good. It's going to hang off a little. You know what that means. I need to cut more off the top. Goodness. Let's cut a little more off so it's not going to be hanging off. Not got enough adhesive still on there. Let's come up right under here. There we go. Now, that looks great. Now let's go ahead and get this little guy back on here. Of course, we need this one. A little more glue. See, I got in a hurry and I'm using more time than if I had just taken my time and not thought about it, right? Okay, let's put this one in the center. Cute. And this one, I'm going to put a little more glue. It's going to go right up here at the top. Cute. And then this one down here in the corner. Just like so. Those little faces straight. Cute cheetahs. Cute, 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 cute. And then again, I'm going to take a little heart. I'm going to put it up here on another one. And put it down in the other corner. And there we have this adorable journal purse. Let's scoot that over just a little bit. Isn't that adorable? This is the one side, could be the front or the back. And this is the other side, just a little bit different color scheme. Now, let me get some of this out of the way. And I have to show you the journal that I made to go in there, and I think it's just absolutely darling. Some of this out of my way. Here is the little cheetah journal that's gonna go on inside. Isn't that cute? Now, I did the binding the same way, and I used these beads to add on to the excess cord that I let hang out from the binding. These little word beads say secret and beauty. This one says laugh and sweet and I just think those are so cute and these little roses or things I had and this is my little cheetah and he's got these little fringes on him or her I think it's a her and this says love and I had this little trim from uh, Michael's recollections and added these little um, enamel dots and this is what I was talking about it matches the handle on this little purse the tie so when you untie this, you're going to open your journal, and it's basically uh, made the way I made it in my other video. And when you open it up, again, 
uh, it's got the little pocket and I had these little um, Project Life cards that I just cut and uh, went around with my corner edger and did the corners. Had these little paper clips from Hobby Lobby. Use this paper all from the same pack to kind of coordinate. Got three little journals and again a little pocket with a little matching cheetah paper clip. So anyway, we're going to tie this back and it will fit perfectly down in that little purse. So if you're doing a craft fair or if you just want to make a cute little gift, I mean, can you imagine? And this could be for any age. I just think it's the cutest thing ever. So here's my little purse. Here's my little journal. So it's going to fit down inside of here perfectly. And I will probably be adding a pin and maybe some other little things to this. But as you see, <coughs> excuse me, fits right down in there and it's it's just adorable. Just adorable. And here is another one that I have made. This one is um, using more of the blues. And over here, sunshine and good feelings, little tennis shoes this journal I did the closure a little bit different what I did was for this one after I use this uh, cording this elastic cording for the binding I left the tails long enough to be able to tie together and I added some beads and I added some beads along here and I also added a little E6000 to these so they won't slide. And you can just slip this off then. And you have it just like the other journals, except, you know, you don't have to tie it. You just slip this little elastic band around there, and that binds it. And this one, the same format. I had these little paper clips and the same three journals and Project Life cards. And then uh, this little paper clip here. And I those little paper clips, they were marked down at um, Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still are. But anyway, that's another journal purse that I will be taking to my craft fair. Now, the other one, I don't have the purse completed yet, but this is so cute. I have loved this paper and have wanted to do a journal out of it. And uh, I just did it out of this one today and these are little beads this one i left the the tails long enough to put some beads on these little embellishments here were from anna griffin a uh, little um oh it's cut and emboss at the same time folders i use little rickrack here some ribbon and i just love this uh measuring tape ribbon for the closure to tie that was the closure and then this one, I just added the pockets again. I put some little gold up here, little gold hearts. I didn't have paper clips. Well, I had some, they were pom-poms. So I thought they were too large when I tried to shut it. So I'll come up with something different for paper clips for that. I'll make some. And then this was the back. And again, you would just tie it up with this little... Uh, measuring tape ribbon that I had in my stash and I'm just sure I got it from Hobby Lobby. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you might give it a try. I think they're just darling and I have had good luck with them. This will be my third year so we'll see how it goes. So um, anyway if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't had a chance to subscribe please hit that little subscribe button and until next time, bye-bye.